Hello there! Welcome back to another episode of Peculiar. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you wouldn't miss any of my videos. And if you want to take a closer look on my drawings, be sure to also check the links of my social media accounts on the description box. So, let's get started. If in the previous video, I showed you two hacks on how you could make realistic portraits, namely by uh, using the method of tracing and by the use of grids, today it will be the opposite. Or today, I will be teaching you on how you could draw starting from scratch, or in, the, or in other words, freehand drawing. I know all of us know what freehand drawing is, but I guess you're curious on how it's done. So I'll be showing you some techniques or tips on how you could master this. Tip number one is to analyze a picture. So um, today I will be drawing the leader of BTS, Rap Monster. In analyzing the picture, it is very important to digest all the details in the picture. For example, how big or how small their eyes is, how pointed the nose is, and just stuff like that. Because the key to a successful freehand drawing is just to analyze the details. By analyzing the details, when drawing, you would make it more distinguishable. So tip number two is to use a reference. Um, I guess there's a misconception about um, freehand drawing that when you do this, you would just you wouldn't have any copies at all. But it's not really that way. Well, it's unless you really have a good imagination, you wouldn't use a reference. But if you're a beginner and you're trying to like um, learn how to freehand drawing then I advise to use a reference first. So just take it easy. So tip number three is to use guidelines. Proportion is a very, is a very important element in drawings and in order to achieve that and avoid a warped or distorted look, we need to use guidelines. So when I was drawing this um, picture, I, I decided to draw some lines near the eyes, the tip of the nose, and the lips. So the position would be um, accurate as shown in the picture that I chose. Also be careful in like placing the guidelines because sometimes it's not um, accurate enough and the facial, facial features would, would look incompatible. Number four is just to um, estimate. There aren't there aren't really other ways to do this rather than just estimate, because um, what we need to develop in freehand drawing is our sense of good judgment, and to have some sense of good judgment, I mean just just don't look at the portrait that you're drawing. Look at the whole picture, um, especially. Um, your background because when we tend to look at the picture only um, the drawing tends to become smaller and um, it would just not look proportionate on the size of the paper so for the shading part um, this is just the same as my previous video wherein the hair is darker than the rest of the body 
the skin must be the lightest, just like the hair. Avoid overshading wherein the subject looks too dark and if that happens, just erase and replant. Shading actually depends on how much light there is, so just um, imagine there's a light source and you'd be good to go. So that's it for today. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and comment down below and tell me how it went. Thanks for watching. See you next time.